Hey travelers, welcome to the Fat Tested Walkthrough of Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. Once you make it in, you can either go straight through Minions Land or you can go right. And I actually have no idea what that area is called. But we're going to go straight, by the way. The Universal Studios store is right there. Let's start off with the Minions. Time to Fat Test Despicable Me Minions Mayhem here at Universal Studios Florida. For this fat test, I'm going to show you the queue and the pre-shows and then show you the ride seat and talk about the ride afterwards. You won't see much of the ride because I'm not allowed to film on it and couldn't find a good POV I could use. This ride actually opened back in 2012 and was originally a 3D ride where you needed the glasses. You no longer need the glasses. It is a motion simulator. It replaced Jimmy Neutron's Nicktoon Blast. This ride is now located in Universal Hollywood, Japan, Beijing, and Singapore. The first pre-show is here in Gru's living room, and then we will move into Gru's laboratory for the second pre-show. These recruits, welcome to my home. I am Gru, master villain, scourge of humanity. Oh, you want to be in me? Your training will begin soon, but be warned, danger lurks at every turn. <laughs> Please, please, that, that is trying to be evil. What are you doing? I am flying. Oh, the cute is crushing you. Now, where was? Margo! What? There was a smudge. I am evil clown. Fear my red nose. Ow! That's enough. Girls, would you please just let me do this? Oh, we were just trying to keep things interesting. Okay, just, just be still. Don't say any more. Words. <clears throat> These are my daughters. Say hello briefly. Hello out there. So, greetings from the television. Anyway, let's begin. We're going to start with a written exam. Uh, okay. The test should take no longer than three hours. You will see none of the park. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing a written exam, remember? What? We're not? All right, we teach that. Uh, Alright, here's what you can expect life to be like once you're a minion. I must warn you, it's not always this easy. You'll spend a lot of time in the lab doing dangerous science experiments. And sometimes we'll have to risk your lives facing down ferocious enemies. Well, that was not the best example. Moving on, as part of your assignment, you may need to go deep undercover. Exotic locations and be equipped with the latest super villain tools of the trade. We'll also teach you new languages, but this guy, he's speaking in the international language of Fox. You'll learn useful survival techniques, like don't sleep in the snow. You'll be my official food tester <coughs> to ensure that what I eat isn't too spicy or too poisoned. You will be a part of history! You'll meet important people in faraway lands that you probably will never be allowed to go to again. But there are plenty of bonuses like unpaid vacations. And all oh, the vehicles, all oh, so cool and so unsafe. And the biggest bonus of all, working alongside the greatest Me, right? I'm not sure if that was obvious. Alright, if you are ready to be a minion, welcome to the family! So, do what I say, heed my words, or pay the price. And have fun. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Come on, smile, Gru. I hate my. This is a motion simulator involving sudden and extreme movement. Expectant mothers and individuals with heart, back, or neck conditions, abnormal blood pressure, or those prone to motion sickness or dizziness are advised not to ride this attraction. For your safety, please remain seated, hold on to the lap restraint, and keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Please supervise children to ensure everyone has their own seat. Children may not sit on laps. Secure all loose items. Finally, the use of still or video cameras is not permitted. Well, you take direction! Come meet me in the minionization prep room so we can all get started. 
Please stay in your role and move forward, filling in all the available space in front of you. Don't delay. This is going to be really fun for me. You are all great minions, I can tell. You want to know who is my favorite minion? You are. Well, you soon will be. I usually take this time to interview new recruits one at a time, but I'm working on something really big today, so I'm going to have to do this kind of quick. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Gru. What's your name? Where are you from? Wow, that might be impressive. Question, question, question. And thank you. Anywho, well, one moment. Mm -hmm. This is good, but tell the Fario, add more dynamite. I want a bigger boom. Okay. You didn't hear that. Anyway, yes, you will be turned into minions. Months ago, my chief scientist, Dr. Nefaria, created a device that could turn everyday boring civilians like you into minions. At first, there were a few minor snags. And a few major snags. Although I kind of like that guy. And that guy. I love that guy. That guy really knows how to party. Don't worry, we have finally worked out all of the kinks, as far as you know. And now, <laughs> you too can become a minion. Wow, look at that. I know, right? It's pretty spectacular. Uh, uh, all right. One second. Hmm? This one. <laughs> Before we begin your training, we need to do a routine body scan. Can't have you bringing any human germs into the lab. It's nothing serious. Just some high density lasers. They're very, very powerful. It will not hurt me a bit. Uh oh, we have a problem. It appears that some of you have not showered in like a week. Yes. <laughs> not naming names. But it's those guys! <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm in a bit of a time crunch and I'm feeling jealous. But you better shower when you get back to your hotel. And don't go right to the pool! <laughs> As for the rest of you, if anyone's thinking of backing out, I warn you, I will hit you with my fart gun! Oh yes, I'm packing to score the payoff! Whether it be minions or farts! Minions or the farts? Ignore them! No, no! Okay, 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 okay. Don't be scared of girl. He's just a big, bald teddy bear! Yeah, and no way will he shoot you with a fart gun. Oh, no? <laughs> Banana. Banana. Oh, come on! <laughs> Are you out wondering if I can give you something? Oh, sure, sweetie, but can it wait? I'm, I'm really behind schedule, and I'm, I have to train these guys. Oh, can we help? What? Yeah, we can train them. Mm, come on! Let me know. I do not think so. Yes. No, no, it's yes. very technical. Come on! We've seen you do it hundreds of times. Yeah, it's not like it's rocket science or even fourth grade science. Yeah, a trained monkey could do it. All right. Okay, future minions, the girls are going to handle your training. Yeah. You people are so doomed. Oh, don't listen to her. Although, she's usually right. Good luck, everyone. He's gone, Agnes. It's the anniversary of the day he adopted us. Aww. Do you think he forgot? Of course not. It'll be okay, Agnes. Come on. We have a job to do. Let's do this! Okay, everybody. See you in the lab. This is gonna be good. Stay in your row and quickly move down to the last seat. Each pod seats four guests per row. Let's go, people! If you don't want to move around during your training, Please see a lab assistant about the stationary seats located at the front of the lab. These are also known as benches. It says here, don't take pictures or videotape. Wait, what's videotape? It means no movies. Once in your seats, remove everything from your lap, including children. 
and then the lap bar will come down. It's like getting a hug from a big metal sure box. Enough. If you feel uncomfortable in any way, please notify our lap. Zup, zup. Alrighty, if everyone's comfortable, say yeehaw. Yeehaw. Awesome, if you're comfortable, there's any point of your right. ride with either side and a lap assistant will come and help you. Margo, Edith, and Agnes, take them to the training ground. <laughs> So at first it was hurting my stomach because it was pretty tight, but I was able to lift my stomach up just a little bit because it goes over the entire uh, row uh, over the bar and that made it a lot more comfortable, but I did fit. And if you don't fit, if you come up here to the front, they actually have stationary seating. Now it's not as interesting obviously, but it still can be fun or if you're with a group and you can just do the stationary seating instead of doing the uh, the ride itself. They also have accessible seating for hearing impaired. Despicable Me, Minions Mayhem passes the fat test. Time to fat test Illumination's Villain Con Minion Blast here at Universal Studios Florida. Villain Con Minion Blast opened in mid-2023, making it one of the newer rides here at Universal Studios. It replaced Shrek 4D, which closed in 2022. It opened with the rest of Minions Land as the theme is you are going to a villain con convention. So, well, <laughs> a villain convention. And that's what the queue is laid out to look like. If you're under 48 inches tall, you require a supervising companion. This is the Eliminator X. We're going to get one of these when we go in. Oh good, the Bank of Evil. That's, that's where I do all of my banking. Aren't all energy drinks evil, though? Still in fashion. Hey guys, you moving in and preparing you guys after the preparing you guys after the Universal Orlando app. I was able to get it synced. You're shooting. I'm the V. I'm that, I'm that pink bead. Do I fully know what I'm shooting at? No. I don't even know what, where I am. 
Try to figure out where you're at. That's the best thing. is definitely getting tired. Isolate, the main thing would be, I would say, is isolate which one yours is. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry about that. We're done. These little things are always turning slightly. Look at the lounge fly. That's cool. National supervillain, you're going to need to bank here at the Bank of Evil, but you're also going to need a great night's sleep. So let me thank my sponsor. And that's why I'm proud to thank my sponsor, Big Fig Mattress. 
The only mattress really milked to handle all this. Now listen, I could tell you my opinion about Big Fig, and I will, but I asked a lot of my followers on Facebook what they thought of their Big Fig, and here's what I got back. Christopher said, bro, that bed is awesome. I love ours. Cameron says, that's a good mattress. We have ours for a year now and love it. Sean, got mine. Best decision I ever made. Gilly, it's so comfy. My wife and I love ours. Katie, I'm telling you, my husband and I bought the Big Fig mattress and box spring, and it's been nothing but amazing. Annie got real honest. Love it. We love our Big Fig, too. I found that I didn't like the mattress cover because it made my, me sweat, probably just doing its job to protect the mattress from my sweat. James has had his Big Fig for about five years and still loves it. Kristen said the only thing she doesn't like is the pom-pop tufts that's stitched into the mattress because she can feel them when she lays down. But besides that, it sleeps so good. Now, personally, I couldn't feel them, just letting you know. A very common comment was on the firmness of the bed, but most people said they added a topper to it and absolutely loved it. Out of over 100 comments, Charlotte delivered my favorite. Took some adjusting during our um, intimate moments. Not as bouncy as the last mattress, so we lost momentum assist. Otherwise, I love it. For once, I am actually sleeping through the night. Some of you may know you get up in the middle of the night all the time to go to the bathroom or just wake up. I have slept so well with this but not everybody loved it i did get a couple of comments out of about a hundred that said they had to return it and that's okay because not everything even a glorious mattress like this is for everyone and that's why they have a 120 day return policy so if you'd like to check out my bed check out the big fig link below there's usually different characters you can meet over at illumination theater this doesn't really fit the land anymore, but also over here we have Time to Fat Test Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket here at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. Before we get to the very unique setup for the test seat, let's take a look at the ride real quick. Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket is a steel roller coaster that opened in August of 2009 at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. One of its most unique offerings is that the rider will be able to choose the music they are listening to from a variety of music so they have a unique experience depending on what they are uh, choosing you immediately go into this 167 vertical uh, chain lift and then into this non-inverting uh, loop called the double take so if you notice what they do is they go up but then they spiral around so you're not actually upside down at the top of the loop this roller coaster was manufactured by Maurer AG, which is a German company, and this is the first one I have ever personally fat tested. There are a total of six close misses, as they're called, on this ride, and it lasts 1 minute and 39 seconds. The G-force is 4.18, and you have to be between 51 and 79 inches total. About a year after opening in September of 2010, it closed shortly, for a month to refurbish the vehicles because it was considered a very rocky ride and uh, actually had some problems with the fatigue and durable uh, ability of the vehicles. But it did open shortly again in October 28th of 2010. Probably one of the most horrifying incidents was just last year in late November where the ride got stuck in a uh, near vertical position and had to be rescued by the fire department. Thankfully, no one was hurt in the incident. And thankfully, I was not on the ride because I sure really would have been blamed and would have been horrified. Riders do have to pass through a metal detector and put all of their items, including their phones, into a locker. Now let's see if it will pass the fat test. They do have a sign out but it is hidden away over here. So there are bushes here. This is where the uh, test seat is gonna be for this. So don't miss the test seat. Thankfully, they do have the sign, which is really conspicuous, but the test seat is not. So this one is around, they're, they're both modified bigger seats. Yes, sir. This one is, what, what'd you say so this, this one? one uh, it sits a little higher, so it's gonna be more in like your stomach area. Okay. And this one's gonna be for like, it's a little more steeper in. Like in the middle. So it's going to be more about your lower stomach, like your high, like your high area. Okay. Awesome. All right. Oh. All right. So we can see that. That's clearly, that's not going to work there. So 
so there is a little light on here that it has to turn on as well. Let's try the other one. This is similar to the Serengeti Flyer at, um, at Bush Gardens. So this one comes a little bit further, but still we got a ways to go. Unfortunately, Hollywood Rip Rod Rocket's gonna fail the fat test. Thanks to the team member for helping me do that. Now, that one was so far off that I'm not gonna get in line for the ride just because uh, that one is, it, it messes, I don't wanna hold up the line, I don't wanna hold people up by with something that's just so far off. If it's close at all or there's any chance, I would recommend go ahead and trying it in the line, but that one was not for me. A lot of people come here to relax. They do actually do some shows, I believe primarily on weekend uh, evenings. Finishing up Minion Land, we have the Bake My Day. We have Freeze Ray Pops, which is a quick service. And then we have Minion's Cafe and a popcorn stand. We keep moving forward and we end up over here at Race Through New York at the NBC Studios. Fat testing Jimmy Fallon's Race Through New York. So here are the test seats. Now, last time I was here, I did not notice, but there is a sign behind me that says there's a seatbelt extension available. Here's, I would recommend pulling it all the way out and then sitting down before you try to sit down and then pull it out, especially on the seat. I really had no room to either side of me because uh, I definitely took up the entire seat. It's about three inches away from me right now. So we're gonna see if we can make the seatbelt extension work. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the ride itself. interesting so apparently this is a 3d attraction I actually didn't know that And this is the race through New York. On the floor, please make sure you have your own individual gray square. Please move all the way down. Doable ride for you. All the people were unable to allow a mission and over values, back, neck, or heart condition. You better start to listen. It's risky business if you're prone to dizziness or any type of motion sickness. No video, photos, recording, going no social is allowed. I hope I'm speaking loud and clear enough to get this. You definitely should sit this one out. I have to say to you, if you have recent surgery or condition, it's aggravatable. By this race intervention, it's unsafe if you enter. Profaning is the simplest way to avoid being injured. If you're lucky enough to be alive and take this ride, your arms, legs, heads, and hands must remain inside. Not to mention your feet. And keep your loose article safety store beneath the seat. Information complete. You're not supposed to be here yet. The rest of the audience is still outside waiting to come in. Where do they, they're supposed Come to on in, everyone. give me that seatbelt extension? Well, there's, yeah, that'd be great. But they're supposed to bring me a seatbelt extender. I don't know. While you watch this POV, 
let me tell you a little bit more about that situation. So I had to stop filming because I had to go find someone to give me a an extension belt. But they didn't give me an extension belt. I had to have them, they had to come connect the extension belt. And it wasn't just one you could latch on and off like you do with an extension belt on an airport. Like this thing is on there. And uh, so I did get that. So I highly recommend sitting on an end row if you're going to be doing that. And you will need to go find someone probably to ask for the extension belt, even though I told them before I went in, I would need one. But on to the ride. So Race Through New York with Jimmy, starring Jimmy Fallon is a 3D motion simulator. So uh, you have the motion, uh, you have the 3D glasses on and you're moving with the, the vehicle as you race through New York. I think this is another one you could probably just get rid of the 3D element because it makes some people a little queasy and it would actually become a better ride if you did that. It's extremely CGI, obviously. And this ride replaced Twister Ride It Out. It opened in uh, 2017 and right as of now, this is the only uh, developed one, uh, part of this that exists uh, in any of the parks. The ride lasts about four minutes. There's a height restriction of only 40 inches, so very family-friendly in that aspect. And that theater holds 72 people at a time through six rows. There are some nods to the previous attraction, including Bill Paxton's light blue shirt, a stapler that's labeled B. Paxton, and an advertisement for Twister Cola. Personally, I find the ride a bit cheesy, but I know a lot of people do enjoy it, and the good thing is it's typically not a very long wait. If you're trying to figure out the sensation and you're a Disney World fan, think Star Tours, but without the cool C-3PO animatronic. And uh, the ride is the same every time. I think if they gave this ride some more rideability, uh, some diversity, it would help it a lot. If they don't want to replace the ride, I think that's something that they should really consider is being able to uh, do uh, create different scenes where you don't know what you're going to do and see different parts of New York. Thank you, no writing music, please. Thank you, the moon, for turning regular old dirt into moon dust. <sighs> All aboard! The space train! Space train? I've heard about this. Once completed, it will be the first ever roller coaster from the moon to the earth. Wait, once completed? <laughs> If you get dizzy or need to take a break, there's a room for that. You do have to go downstairs as you exit. So they don't give you an extension belt. They have one that like really connects to it uh, that they have to put on. So you want to make sure to sit on the end of the row if you're going to do that. And it does kind of feel like you're holding up the ride just so you know, but that's just a feeling because actually that ride takes quite a while because they have to check all the seat belts and everything. But hey, it passes the fat test. All right, now we're turning right and heading down. Now over here is where we see Di Marilyn and Diamond Bellas perform. Wait, let's welcome her to the set. Here she is, the one, the only Marilyn. And the Diamond Bellas. Yeah, we're making a table right here. We got it all set up for you. Don't have to listen. Meet me there under the Macy's. Everybody, if you'd like a photo, a little keepsake time with Marilyn and the Diamond Bellas. Now is your chance. Come on over here. Now 
is the chance. Now is the time to act now. <laughs> Do it now and you'll receive a free hello from Marilyn the Diamond Bella. So make your way right over here to the Hot Set Show in progress. First time I actually saw all the dads get in line. Along with the ride outside here at Revenge of the Mummy, there's also a, often a lot of stilt walkers that you can find. Fat testing Revenge of the Mummy here at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. So here is the test seat. Looks like this has to come all the way down until there's a light here. Turns green right there. All right. Behind it. Uh, these, these chairs are based on our third row. Uh -huh. If you need some extra room, you can ask for a fourth row. Okay. You can ask for that corner seat. The corner seat on the fourth row is the bigger one? All right. Might as well try it. Here's some seats. The team member said try the fourth row corner seat. It should have a little bit more room. We're going to try that and see if it works. This is the uh, seat you didn't have the stain and wear it. So we're trying the fourth row back seat. Let's see how this works out. I don't think. We'll see. So that didn't work. Uh, it was still too tight. It was like a couple, couple flicks away. But apparently there's an ADA vehicle. I didn't know about this. So we're going to try the ADA vehicle. Before we try the third seat for this fat test, let me talk to you a little bit about the ride. It is technically classified as a roller coaster, though it's really a dark ride with one little launch that goes up to 40 miles per hour very briefly at least from what I can tell. It opened in 2004 and replaced Confrontation, and it uh, is also found in Hollywood and Singapore. Steven Spielberg hates this ride because it replaced E.T. Adventure in Hollywood. The question is, will the third time be the charm and will it pass the fat test? Let's get to it. This way. That's me. It passed the fat test. Are you my mummy? Okay, so on every vehicle, the back corner on the fourth row is a little bit bigger than the normal seat. And honestly, the normal seat wasn't too far off itself. And then there's also an ADA that's just a touch bigger than the back row normally. So what I did was on that, they, I waited for that car. And again, it's just a touch bigger. So uh, it was tight and I had to lift my gut up over it and put it down, you know. Uh, but we made it work and your legs do have to fit up under there and it hurt my legs a little bit. But Revenge of the Mummy does now pass the fat test with all of that information. With Finnegan's Bar and Grill and Regal Cafe here and then Andy Ann's across the street. If you want to take a time away from the rides, there's an arcade. Lots of fun storefronts, make sure to pay attention to when you're here. There's an I Rosie's Irish shop. If you want some pizza, there's Louie's. And then there's a Starbucks. All right, we're here at the statue of Lou R. Wasserman and we're gonna go to the left. Then we reach one of the most missed opportunities for our ride and it's time Time to fat test Fast and the Furious Supercharge here at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. But in the meantime, let me tell you a little bit about this place. This entire break room was built and designed by that man right there. His name is Dominic Toretto. 
Now Dom is one of the best and fastest racers we have here because every time that man starts up an engine and wins some races, he gets free cars, he gets free money, he gets the bragging rights, and above all, he gets access to the best VIP parties you guys can imagine. And guess what? Since you're all hanging out in this room, you guys all get to go. You excited to go? Woo! You sure? Because you guys are the most depressing people I've ever met in my life. <laughs> you want to try that again? Are you guys excited to go to the party? Yeah! Much better. Even if you don't mean it, you gotta learn how to fake it now and again. How do you think I survived working at Disney for five years? <laughs> so, we're just gonna wait until Mia calls. She never misses a cue. Look at that. You see? Hey Pat, I see our party goers have arrived. What's up girl? They just got here. Introduce yourself. Hey everybody, I'm Mia, Dom's sister. Well, another race just wrapped and it looks like my brother has another car for his selection. Honestly, I don't know why anybody challenges him. Desperate for money, that's why I work here. We're meeting up at Sullivan's Garage <laughs> after party and while Tej works on your rides, you guys enjoy the break room. My brother calls this the family room. Aww. Dom says he doesn't have friends, he has family. family. And the faces you see on these walls are our family. When I'm in this room, I feel like we're all together. Well, sweetie, you're in your car, so. so. We're <laughs> family. As you can tell, family's really important to her. Hey, Tej, <laughs> Mia's here. All right, all right. What's up, Mia? Hey, Tej, just welcoming these good people to our family. family. How are their rides coming along? The rides are ready to roll out. I lost roll the power every time she said family. All right. I'll let them know. You guys have fun at the party. Bye, Mia. Yeah, bye, family. All right, Pat. Let's get these people on their way. Send them over to the war room. All right, boss. We'll talk to you later then. Bye. Peace. All right. Meanwhile, she loves family. Where, where's her brother, Jacob? Oh, yeah. We don't know. We, we don't want to know what happened to him. All right. When these doors fully open, just go right in there. You guys have fun. Sorry. Just make the day awkward. <laughs> I love the way they went from the garage to this. Hi. How's everybody doing? Good. Awesome. All right. Hi. Um, so my name is Jamie. Welcome to the war room. Um, sounds like you're going to Dom's after party, right? Yeah. Sure. Cool. So are we not excited? Let's go party. Yeah. She is definitely excited. <laughs> right. so, where Tej is on his tech magic. He is currently working on your party buses. He's left me in charge. Not the greatest thing he's done today, but here we are. Uh, hopefully he'll be back here soon or calling. That was creepy. Let's see what he wants. Jamie, the buses are here. Awesome. I will send them on their way. They're super excited. Uh, <laughs> I got this, Jamie. You got this? Yeah. I wanted to what talk up? to him, but all right. Tej, it's fine. just got a heads up from Hobbs. The FBI is about to raid your location. Wait, what? Oh, man, they always ruining our fun. But it's Saturday. It gets worse. They're leading Owen Shaw right to your door. Oh, that's a little crazy. Shaw? That cockroach we beat down in Spain? What's he got to do with this? Hopefully not nothing. Nothing yet. Okay, good. And let's keep it that way. Get those people on those buses. I'm trying. You're still talking. You need to start bugging out right now. I'm definitely bugging like these. And the get 80s. that turbo truck ready. I'm sending Letty there to pick it up. I'm on it. I'm on. Why am I here? Hobbs needs your help. Needs team. <laughs> team, I got that. The You're the team. Tell everybody. We're keeping it our family. Just each other. And keep it quiet. Say nothing to nobody. <laughs> Ooh, um, Hobbs is on the line. It's Hobbs. I just said that. Hobbs, my man. It's like I'm not what even up? here. Sorry, brother Tash. No time for chit chat. I just sent you a brief on that BI agent Novak. Has Toronto filled you in? What are we talking about? Yeah. This. Okay. He wants us to get everybody over to the party at Sullivan's. Sounds like a plan. That party There's is a ready made diversion. Keep it going. We need to discuss how you're going to get all those civilians out of there without tipping <laughs> off the FBI. Uh, I thought they were family. Okay, hold on. I'm so confused. Let me get everybody squared away and we'll talk offline. It's in the abyss now. Copy that, Tej, and let everybody know. Shut off your cell phones. We don't want Shaw tracking your location. Well, we've been on the phone this whole time. <laughs> okay, Jamie, you heard the man. Yeah. It's about to go to a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. Send everybody to the loading dock. You got it. All right, guys, out to the loading docks you go. As you make your way to the loading docks, please make sure you keep all your family members together. Have a good time. Bye. I'm glad you're super excited. <laughs> Excuse me. 
the pre show's fun. I worked at Disney. <laughs> that was funny. I like the pre shows. I wonder if that. I guess that was not scripted. It's kind of like Jungle Cruise, where they can make up their own stuff as well. I can picture you doing something like that. And you being really good at it. Like Here's a chair. <laughs> If you need that. Hey guys, some more seatbelts. Okay. Fast and the Furious opened in Universal Studios, Florida in 2018, replacing Disaster, a major motion picture ride starring you and Beetlejuice's Rock and Roll Graveyard Review. The ride is another ride simulator here at Universal Studios. Primarily, you go through watching some different screens with videos that take way too long, in my opinion, and then go through a bit of a chase scene. This ride is also found at Universal Studios Hollywood. There, it's a studio tour uh, track tram, and here it's themed as a party bus as you're going to the party. Personally, I think the best thing about this ride is that pre-show, uh, the team members were really, really funny. But it is the most fat-friendly ride, as all you're doing is sitting on a long bench with no uh, rails or seat belts or anything. There is a hand hold uh, thing you can hold on to if you need to, but you really shouldn't. This ride was supposed to also open at Universal Studios Beijing, but it ended up being canceled after the negative feedback on this ride here in Florida. <laughs> So I was promised a VIP party, but all I got was a police chase. Uh, welcome to Miami. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's a bench seat, so I guess uh, there's some handhold things, but yeah, no seatbelt or anything. Passes the fat test. It's another screen simulator ride here at Universal. Continuing our way down, we reach Richter's Burger. We've reached Fisherman's Wharf of San Francisco area. We have San Francisco candy. I wonder if they actually ever take these boats out. They definitely keep them clean. Filling some seafood? Here's an option for you. We've made it all the way from San Francisco to King's Cross. Now, it's only a 10 minute wait for the train right now and that can get up there. I've actually seen that up over two hours long. So now would be a great time to take it, but that takes you to the other part. We're not doing that yet. We'll do that later in the day. Now it is hidden back here, but this is where you enter to go to Diagon Alley. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it makes noise like the bricks are moving back. Here we are. We have the Weasleys. Pay a lot of attention to the windows here. Don't fall. Lockhart, Magical Me. The offices of the Daily Prophet. This is actually one of the patterns from the movie that you see Mrs. Weasley doing. You can buy all kinds of wands. So many wands. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do a whole video exploring the different Wizarding Worlds of Harry Potter. Just the shops could take an hour. And we've made it to the only ride here in Diagon Alley. Fat testing Harry Potter and the Escape from Green Guts here at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. There is a test seat out front. I did do it. I did not fit. And I don't know what happened to the footage of that. So we'll just have to show you the ride itself. And this queue, which I think is fantastic.
if you wish to come to the camp, make your way to the camp. When you find it, I will be able to We just came all the way down the elevator and now we get to go up a few flights. So you want to try three or six? Yeah. So our vehicle has arrived. They were clapping, so they must have enjoyed the ride. Unlike the Mummy, they do not seem to have an ADA one that is a little bit bigger. So this should be the only one we can try, which they said to try the third and sixth row. It is tight getting back here. Just so you know, it's a, just trying to get through this little thing is hard. It stopped, but... I don't have a clue. You want to try and readjust? Yeah, we can try readjusting. Oh, please? Yeah, let's try it. Alright, so for your safety, I do need to see the safety tag going on here like I do here. If I don't see it, that means it wouldn't be safe for you to try today. Okay. Stop. Unfortunately, even just getting through the back of it, even just getting through the row was really tough. We tried, but unfortunately, Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts fails the fat test. Here's where they'll do a couple different stage shows throughout the day. A lot of stuff here is interactive with the wands. There's a lot of places to buy the wands. If you want a specific experience with the wands, you can do uh, Ollivanders. But otherwise, just buy them somewhere there's no line. Want some jelly deals? Make sure to stop by and hang out with the shrunken head. Next, we make our way over to Fat Testing Men in Black Alien Attack here at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. Men in Black Alien Attack opened in 2000 at Universal Studios Florida. It is the only version of this in any of the parks. The ride is disguised as a pavilion at the 1964 New York World's Fair. 
So that's what you'll be navigating in this 70,000 square foot uh, feature where there are 125 animatronics. Talk about that more in a minute, but let's get to the fat test. Come on, come on. A, little, a little tight. Can you hold that? You gotta hop up. Don't even dream of pushing. That kind of shoot is not going to get you a suit. Let's go, let's go. Emergency. Training sequence aborted. Hold your fire. Our shipment of alien bad guys has crashed, landed, smacked, dead. Everybody hit the streets. This is not a drill. Keep your eyes open. You can be hiding just about anywhere. I got 33,000. Brian got 250. I, I don't really remember much. Um, I think I saw the guy that slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars, but I'm pretty sure it passed the fat test. And we leave Men in Black to enter Springfield. Which is really interesting because technically Disney now owns the rights to this. But much like, I guess, uh, Marvel, they can't do anything with it in the parks over here. There's a bunch of carnival style games here. Oh, that's fun. I like the prizes. 
helps Santa's little helper. That's fun. That's really cool. Fat testing the Simpsons ride here at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. Crusty land. So it looks like there's a level two and a level one, which is the one I'm doing. All right, I'm going on road number four. Closed for private wedding. Crusty splash zone, right? No problem. I appreciate the subtitles on these. Going here. Okay. All the growling. If a human being were to enter that room, who knows what events might occur you like. They could grow 50 feet tall, or three extra arms, or an eye where their nose should be, which is painful. Hey, Nerdenheimer, don't you have a test tube to polish? Yes, I, I do, actually, but you denied my request for test tube polish. I've been using rainwater at my shirt tail. Get out of here! We're like that space guy who did that moon thing. Neil Armstrong? No, Chewbacca! Uh, now enjoy the Ferris wheel, or whatever this is. What do you want? A dish best served cold. Is it ice cream? No, revenge! Go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on vacation! Can't you kill me on a work day? Simpsons, get in that ride! Forget it, Bob! We'll never... Dad! I waited in line an hour for this thing and I'm riding it! Now hop in! <laughs> now the last thing you'll ever see! A legally required safety. Ah! Before I actually show you the ride vehicle and if I fit or not, let me show you the footage from Blur here. This is uh, Blur Studios. They created the 3D animation that goes with the motion simulator. Obviously, the vehicle is going to move with this footage. Now, personally, I am not a fan of this style. I don't like the 3D style of the simpsons uh that they did here i've seen it in other things but uh it's it, to each their own what does sadden me and i never got a chance to experience is is this ride uh replaced the back to the future ride this opened back in april of uh 2018 uh, 2008 for a soft launch and then uh fully opened on may 15th I showed a lot of the pre-show so you could get an idea of what the storyline he here is. It's Sideshow Bob coming after The Simpsons in Krusty Land. It's got some really good jokes, some humor in it, and The Simpsons are always a good time. I'm not going to do the full ride, but this one lasts about four minutes long. You can't really tell from being on the ride, uh, but it is a 85-foot IMAX dome that is actually doing the projections and everything here. I think a lot of that is lost based on the limited view that you have because it is divided into uh, 24 cars that are on the two different levels. But will it pass the fat test? Let me show you the vehicle. It's not what I was expecting. It's my first time on this ride, but I would say it might be a little bit easier to try to get on the other side of it to go in last because crossing across this whole thing was a little difficult. Alrighty guys, the bars are coming down. Go ahead, arms up, guys, arms up. The bars on the two different rows are different. This one is a cross bar with two legs in the middle, and the other one is a curved bar with the legs on the ends. If you end up in the front row, I'd say you're probably better off in the middle seats and in the back row on the end seats. Front and middle is probably the best option overall. The Simpsons ride is the first ride in a long time to actually make me nauseous, but uh, it passes the fat test. Time to fat test Kang and Kudos Twirl and Hurl here at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. You in my fine mother! That's very good name. He's re into the very end of the ride, at which time, if you haven't been eaten, you may exit. This is a basic aerial carousel, much like you'd see in Dumbo. It was the last piece to be added to Springfield, USA in 2013. The seats are a long bench seat with one 
a seat belt that will go over the entire group or if you can fit multiple people in here. Now, I was able to get this seat belt on, but there was not a lot of room compared to everything else that uh, all the other ones I've done. This was a little bit tight. I was a little worried at first, but there was a little extra room left. Once we started going, one thing I really noticed is that I was sliding a lot towards the door. So I just go ahead and sit more towards that and uh, make sure to put a child on the other side of you if you're riding with another child. Nothing. Stupidity! <laughs> no. The only way to get out of here is to help us attack Springfield. Aim your craft at your fellow humans. You'll like it. We do. Oh, I'm sliding. <laughs> I'm definitely sliding. You mother. Who has <laughs> oh, and I'm still sliding. Completely accidental and should be forgotten immediately. Please remain seated until the vehicle comes to a complete stop. And we're back where we started. Now you may undo your seatbelts and exit the right vehicle. Rejoin your friends and family and speak nothing of your glory or dreams. Exit to inferior rides. Please do not be frightened. We do not like the way frightened tastes. Canyon Kudos Twirl and Hurl passes the fat test. You can go over here to the Quickie Mart for a bunch of Simpson merchandise. Of course, there's a Duff Beer Bar. And you can come in here to Moe's. I don't know, I think this looks a lot nicer than Moe's. Jebediah Springfield. Chief Wiggum. Krusty Burger. There's, this is like a... Uh, a food court area. The donuts here are voodoo donuts, so if you don't want to get them here, you can get them over in City Walk. When I first came here, I was hoping they actually sold comic books. In here, you have Lisa's Tea House of Horror, Luigi's, The Frying Dutchman, Cletus Chicken Shack, Krusty Burger, and Flamin' Moe's. I will avoid making a comment about the Flaming Moe's. And then they have Bumblebee Man's Tacos. Here we have the DeLorean and the train from Back to the Future. I do feel normal, don't you? Say that's a very normal expression. If you love a cute animal show, these are a bunch of trained animals you can see here. Now, a lot of this area back here has changed a lot. Uh, this is going to be a DreamWorks land. You can see that Shrek's house being built. This used to be, they had a Woody Woodpecker uh, kids coaster back here, and they had Fievel, uh, which was really cool because my time frame but no kids no fireball today and they had the curious george water area they do meet and greets with patrick and spongebob here looks like squidward is meeting right now during construction et is still operational though reportedly after it was taken down at universal hollywood uh spielberg said that if they took it down here uh he would never work with them again 
Fat Testing ET at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. So you tell them your name and you get this. That's cool. Oh, we have to get the passports back. E.T. is a suspended dark ride. If you've been over to Disney, think of uh, Peter Pan's flight, where the, the bicycle is hanging down from a track moving across, and you are going through, starting with the chase scene at the end of the movie where you are trying to get e uh, save E.T. So to, in this case, E.T. must get home because his mentor is actually sick. So you start by going through the chase scene, flying over the city. Uh, if you look over at the moon there, you can actually see the, the, the iconic uh, emblem of them flying over the moon. And then you uh, will go through the stars and end up at E.T.'s home world, the Green Planet. It was originally supposed to just be a retelling of the story itself, but in such a short ride, they couldn't figure out how to make the impact of the movie fit, so they decided to change it up. And they actually based some of this on the written sequel of the book. 1985, William Cotswell Winkle's uh, E.T., The Book of the Green Planet. This helped give inspiration, along with Peter Alexander, who'd helped desi who designed the ride. A lot of, uh, he said he got a lot of, design elements from coral reefs in California as a child. The reason you have those passports is because it scans in your name and at the end of the ride ET is supposed to say up to, uh, uh, as many names as possible. I'm told sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm sure typing all of those names they probably don't actually type everybody's name in. This was the first one built in 1990. It was also built in Hollywood and uh, Universal Studios Hollywood and Universal Studios Japan, but both of those have since been replaced. In Hollywood, it was replaced by Revenge of the Mummy in 2003, and in Japan in 2009 at the Space Odyssey, by Space Odyssey the Ride. Universal has unfortunately removed many of its iconic uh, 1980s based rides, but I think this one will probably stick around for a while unless they just really want to tick off Steven Spielberg. You're going about 5 miles per hour and about 12 feet off of the air, and there are 12 people per ride in vehicle. And the music is extraordinary, as it is, of course, John Williams. The ride received its last refurbishment in 2017, and there were plans to open one at Universal Studios South Korea, but the plans for that theme park ultimately were scrapped. Now let me show you the test seat and or the seat and see if it passes the fat test. No problem. Until you are asked to exit. Well, E.T.'s home is saved, and it passes the fat test. Hey, guys. <laughs> you can also come dance in the pineapple. It's a disco party. All right, now we're going down the East Green area. Headed over to Transformers. I don't know what they still do here, but it's the media center. I feel like they probably used to use this and don't anymore kind of thing. Ray Charles, Sid Caesar, Elton John. This is all right in front of La Bamba Cafe. So uh, this is where we're gonna have lunch. And, uh, if, but I did that in a separate video. If you wanna see the review, uh, for their vegan and vegetarian options, check it out. So we went in a circle for most of this, but now we're gonna head over to Transformers, which means we gotta take a little bit of a detour to the right, and then we'll come back to finish the loop. Time to fat test Transformers the ride here at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. 
Also back here, you can meet one of the Transformers. They do switch out, so it depends. I've seen Bumblebee and others back here. Moving the AllSpark from Nest is a high-risk scenario of last resort. If it makes you feel any better, I have already put Evac on alert. He's ready to go if it comes to the general. Got to grab our battle glasses. There are buttons. I'm supposed to partner with human navigators. Of course I have to press them. They told me there isn't anyone they can spare, so I asked them, what about the recruits? The more eyes we have, the better. Before we get to the actual ride, I want to show you some footage and talk about the ride itself. The ride is another 3D dark ride motion simulator similar uh, closest to Spider-Man over in Islands of Adventure. You move around a track and uh, go with the fight. You're being evacuated uh, with the AllSpark by EVAC. This ride opened in 2013 at Universal Studios Florida, but it was first uh, introduced at Sing Universal Studios Singapore in 2011, then in 2012 at Universal Studios Hollywood, and then Beijing actually got it in 2021. The ride is where Soundstage 44 used to be, where they had Hercules and Xena, Wizards of the Screen, and the Murder, She Wrote Mystery Theater. Check out some footage from the ride, and then let's test the seat. Hey, recruits, maybe a little warning for me next time? Fools, you can't escape Megatron. Reverse thrusters, Vulcan. <laughs> Your planet belongs to me. Take cover! Close one. Look, escape route. Wait, something's wrong. It's Devastator. Learn his vortex. We need cover. They trusted you with this mission? We got it, Storm Crusher! Lost him! My gun's jammed! Get it! It's him again! Activate battle shields! We're hit! Heal! Optimus! Cowards run! Heroes fight! Your war is with me! Optimus! Protect the Allspark! Just dropping in. We're on our own. What do we do? Beg for mercy. Never. No more running recruits. He wants the offspark? He can have it. Oh no. no! Evac, report in. Your bravery saved the planet. Well done, freedom fighters. The seat is four individual seats. And the bar comes down across everyone, but I had absolutely no problem with it. That one only made me slightly nauseous with all the 3D and motion simulation. But 
it also passed the fat test. Now I'm gonna head back over this way past Mail's Diner. If you wanna check out some cool classic cars, you can do that here. 1955 Crown Victoria. 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Thank you. So they replaced you. They replaced your like nope. place for. Uh, Can't replace me. Well, oh, for over at uh, Fast and the Furious thing. Oh yeah, they just couldn't afford me anymore. Anyway. Uh, I understand that. I'm sure you're expensive. You better believe it. Man. Yeah. Life, afterlife is very expensive. Uh, among other things, yeah. I mean, there's quality, there's uh, content, and mm. there's uh, their personality, and you can't really put a good price on that after all. Well, they definitely went cheaper with all of those. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, doggy! Woo! I don't know. The word on the street is uh, it lives up to its name. Oh uh, well. Yeah, it's over fast, and you're furious. <laughs> <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. The Man of a Thousand Faces, Juan Cheney Sr. Seats are very comfortable. This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I came out from the monster makeup show and found the Simpsons. That was funny. I think most of everything else down here. So that's the, the makeup show. There's a stunt show with Born Spectacular down here. I think most of this other stuff is shops. You can still find all the horror stuff, uh, old classic monsters at the Five and Dime. Oh, Marilyn has showed up again in style as always. I didn't know Dora was a universal character and Betty Boop. Let me get a quick photo real quick. Right next to the mystery machine where you can meet Scooby and the gang. Let's check out the Born Spectacular. was fantastic typically I don't like the way Universal uses so many screens but that with the mixture of uh, live sets and props and pyrotechnics and everything else was fantastic also Betty Boop is walking by as our loop comes to the end we have a Hello Kitty store and the Today Cafe but we still have one more thing left to do it's finally time to take the Hogwarts Express over to Islands of Adventure headed back to King's Cross look who I found Bumblebee. Looks like the Blues Brothers are getting ready for a show. All right, I made it back to King's Cross. If you remember earlier, it was 10 minutes. Now it's going to be 50. Now you do have to have either an annual pass or a park hopper uh, to go between the parks. So we'll come in here, they'll scan your ticket. There is an elevator or there are stairs.
Contraps and pumpkin pastas. Ron, food is the first of the five principal exceptions to Gump's law of elemental transfiguration. Do you know what she's talking about? I've made it to Hogsmeade, which means it's time for a butterbeer and to close out this fat tested walkthrough of Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. Make sure to follow along and turn a on a quick overview of when the Universal Islands Studios of Orlando, fat Florida for is up. the fat test. The first time I came here and did this, it was super crowded and the lines were so long. I didn't actually do a lot of the actual seats. I tried the test seats and I kind of had to rush through it to get it done. Uh, but now that we've actually tried the seats, we've talked to more team members. There's actually a lot more here that you can fit on, but the knowledge base you have to have to do that is pretty intense. So I hope you'll take a moment and share this. I hope it's helped you out and uh, that you'll be able to help some other people out with it as well. But with what I know, I'm much more comfortable here at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida, and I hope you are too.